This isn't your ordinary taco. Imagine a fusion of Filipino soul and a warm Mexican embrace. Today, we're creating something that in my opinion is one of the best tacos in the world. With that, we're making some tasty chicken sisig tacos. If you're new to the channel, I'm Geronimo, and I'm a professional chef and product designer in the San Francisco Bay Area. So today, we're bringing you the flavors of the Philippines, but with a fun twist. We're fusing it with everyone's favorite, tacos. Today, we're making chicken sisig tacos, and this recipe is a tribute to the Bay Area's popular Senor Sisig food truck right here in our kitchen. Now, if sisig is new to you, it's a classic Filipino dish that's usually made from parts of a pig's head, but today, we're making it with chicken thighs. It's a dish known for its tangy, spicy, and savory notes, creating a flavor profile that's really hard to resist. So we're taking those vibrant flavors and putting them in a taco. So if that sounds delicious to you, get your aprons on and let's get cooking. All right, let's get down to business with the star player of our recipe, the chicken. First up, we're going to marinate it. Marinating is key here, not just for infusing the chicken with those deep, savory flavors, but also for tenderizing the meat. Our tenderizing tools of choice apple cider vinegar, and pineapple juice. They all help break down the proteins in the chicken, making it irresistibly tender and juicy. So in a medium mixing bowl, combine half a cup or 120 milliliters of apple cider vinegar, a third cup or 80 milliliters of coconut aminos, a third cup or 80 milliliters of pineapple juice, one teaspoon or 2.8 grams of garlic powder, half a teaspoon or one gram of black pepper freshly ground, half a teaspoon or one gram of red chili flakes, and some kosher salt to taste. Mix it all together. Next, we'll add one and a half pounds or 680 grams of boneless and skinless chicken thighs to this marinade and ensure that they're well coated. We'll leave them to soak up all that goodness for at least two hours in the fridge, or preferably overnight if you can, for the best flavor. After marinating your chicken overnight or for a couple of hours, preheat your grill to medium high heat. That's about 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Grilling on this temperature ensures that the chicken cooks evenly and gets those beautiful char marks without burning. Remember to clean and oil your grates before cooking. Once your grill is hot and ready, remove the chicken from the marinade, shaking off any excess, and onto the grill they go. We're aiming for an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius, which is about six to seven minutes per side, depending on your grill. Aim to get a little bit of char on the chicken, which will bring a nice smoky flavor to the dish that will make all the difference. After the thighs are done grilling, it's time to let the chicken rest. Resting allows the juices in the chicken to redistribute throughout the meat. This ensures every bite is juicy and flavorful. While the chicken is resting, let's prepare a final dressing. This dressing will boost the flavor of our beautiful chicken pieces even further. In a small mixing bowl, bring together two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of coconut aminos, two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, half a teaspoon or one gram of red chili flakes, and half a teaspoon or one gram of black pepper, freshly ground. The coconut aminos add a deep, savory element, while the lemon juice brightens everything up. All right, our chicken has had its beauty rest. Now we'll chop it into smaller pieces, roughly half inch cubes, and toss them in our flavor packed dressing. Trust me, this step will take your sisig to a whole new level. While we let the chicken absorb more of that goodness, we can finish up the garnish and sauce. Next up is the slaw. This will add a nice fresh crunch that will help balance out the savory chicken. We'll take two cups or 150 grams of green cabbage, shredded, and soak it in salted water for about 10 minutes. This process tames the pungency of the cabbage while preserving its fresh, crispy texture. While we let that soak, we can work on our cilantro crema sauce, which will bring some creamy, tangy, and herbaceous goodness. A perfect complement to our savory chicken. In a blender, combine half a cup or 120 milliliters of full-fat coconut milk, a quarter cup or 15 grams of fresh cilantro leaves and stems, roughly chopped, a quarter of an avocado, and one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of lime juice and blend it all until smooth. Season it with kosher salt to taste and then set it aside or drop it into a squeeze bottle. Now back to our cabbage. After soaking, 
drain the cabbage, and then toss it with a quarter cup or 15 grams of finely chopped fresh cilantro, juice from one lime, freshly squeezed, and then now it's good to go. Now, we can't forget about our taco vessel, the tortilla. Here I have almond flour tortillas, but choose your favorite. Heat them up on a hot dry skillet just until they're warm and pliable. This step is crucial to bring out the full flavor of the tortillas and to ensure that they can hold our juicy chicken sisig without falling apart. Remember to keep them warm by wrapping them in a towel. All right, time for a quick burst of heat. Our chopped chicken, now marinated and dressed, is heading for a hot skillet or wok. Add a tablespoon of oil on your pan heated to medium high and add in your chicken pieces. This is going to give our chicken pieces a beautiful crisp edge and warm it just right. But it's more than reheating. This step, taking just about two to three minutes, is about adding that extra texture and flavor, thanks to what we call the Maillard reaction. This will help us create a juicy interior, crispy exterior, and rich, savory flavor. Once these goodies are heated through, move your chicken pieces to another bowl. And now all our components are complete. Okay, we're ready to assemble our tacos. Grab a nice and warm tortilla or two, layer on a generous portion of that meaty good good sisig, drizzle on some of that herbaceous and creamy cilantro crema, and finally top it off with your fresh cabbage slaw. And there you have it, a culinary crossroads of the Philippines and Mexico, a flavor fiesta that's sure to please the crowd. So it's time to do our taste test and I'm excited to dig in. There's no proper way to eat a taco. You just eat a taco by going ahead first. So bon appetit, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Wow. So the chicken is super juicy. It's got savory and sweet notes and it's smoky. You can taste the smokiness and there's a little bit of heat and it balances really well with the slaw, which gives like a nice freshness and brightness. And the tortilla is perfectly warmed up and the cilantro crema gives a nice creaminess and her herbaceousness to the, to the taco. I'm gonna take another bite. Mmm, that's super good. I could eat like six of these. And compared to Senor Seasick, they honestly have very similar profiles, but this version is a lot healthier for you. So I wouldn't feel bad about eating 20 of these. But yeah, I'm excited for you to try this and appreciate a fusion of a Filipino and Mexican flavor fiesta. If you enjoyed this video, check out one of my other videos here where I show you how to make Filipino pork barbecue, but healthy. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> what happened? Bobby, you're continuing to make a mess. Hmm?